so in this video we will learn about git so this video is for complete beginner who haven't heard about git before okay so so what basically git is it is a version control software okay so by that what I mean is so for example I I'm working on my site called webdemetics okay so I created one feature and I want to add another feature so what I did was I created a, a another copy of folder okay so this is the working one and I will try to work on this folder so that I don't break the previous working code okay so uh, in this way I I may create different version okay so this is before you know git okay so what git allows us to do is it allows us to make uh, the several revision of same file okay so second major benefit of using git is it allows our team to work on same file okay so uh, you'll learn about that as we go along uh, follow this tutorial and you'll by the end of this tutorial uh, you'll learn git okay so let's start so uh, let's take an example of this site webdevmatics i'll open this in sublime okay so also before proceeding uh, just download git okay so search for git download and download according to your operating system so once you are done you will have this tool called git pass okay so for mac and linux terminal is fine so for windows this is git pass okay so so uh, we are in webdevmatix folder inside project okay so just uh, go to that folder in your windows you can go uh, manually go to folder and right click and git pass here so what this will do is this will open the git pass or terminal in at this location okay webdemetics so you can manually go uh, using cd commands uh, in terminal okay now so first command you need to type is to initialize the repo okay repository so these are some terms you need to know okay so repository is something uh, where you put all the files and once you are done you will push that repo, uh, repo to remote so number one command which uh, you'll do is git init okay so what this will do is this will initialize the uh, folder with uh, git repo okay so here is uh, before there were uh, there was no files in it now after running this command git in it it created a folder okay so this is the hidden folder you might not see uh, just make sure you can see hidden files okay so git in it is a one-time command for every project so that will create the repo next uh, so now uh, I started working on my project so this is the workflow so first you do git in it initialize the folder or project with git okay so uh, next you keep working on that so now I added a file index so I'll save it at index dot html okay so okay so I created an index file uh, in my webdemetics project okay so now I uh, just go back to git pass now uh, the second command so git in it to initialize the project with git repo okay so next you will type git status to know what is the status of your repo okay so uh, it says untracked file index.html so what git does is git knows there is a file but it is not tracking it so what tracking means is what are the changes in that file so git uh, do not know about the, that okay so it does know about uh, there is file so it is telling you this is uh, untracked file so second command is git add so git add so name of file you want to add okay so you can hit tab to autocomplete so when you hit enter so let me clear the screen now if you type git status it will say changes to be committed so in order to um, put it to 
uh, repository you need to commit it okay so how you commit the file so in order to commit you will type git commit and dash m to give it message okay so i will type first commit and enter so now it is committed okay so to see what are the commits you type git log okay so it will show this is the commit okay yeah so the message uh, name of commit first commit okay so this is the workflow you uh, initialize repo get in it you add the file there git add uh, and you commit it git commit so these are just uh, command you need to know for now so next here so i will add another heading so youtube channel okay and i save it and if i now type git status so it will say this is modified okay so because we uh, put that in our repo okay so it is saying uh, now it is different from what you committed okay so now it is different so uh, in order to commit that you need to uh, follow the same process okay so uh, now let's do again so git add so this is new change and we want to add so git commit dash m and second commit all right so so now there are two uh, version of same project okay so git log this is the first commit uh, where there was no this s4 tag uh, now this is the second commit where there is both this okay so two version of files okay so this is how you use git okay so everything uh, up to now is happening locally in our computer so you want this project to be accessible to others okay so you uh, put this to some website okay so uh, there is a website called github which allows us to uh, put your file to your local git repo to remote okay so that everyone can access that so just uh, go to github.com and sign up once you're done with sign up you create this plus sign to create new repository okay so everything is same uh, new repo in your local and remote is same so only difference is this remote is accessible by others okay so in this page you give uh, your repo name okay okay i will just give web dev one okay so this is public okay now you see this okay so here uh, first ssh our https uh, so for now just do https and it is telling you just uh, make uh, this readme file like so and git in it which we have already done okay so uh, you, you might want to add readme file okay so after adding do commit like so and it is telling all the steps to us so up to this step we have already done okay so this is just uh, if you want to add readme file so if you already committed something to your project in our case which we have already done okay so in order to just push to remote you need this uh, just uh, these two command okay so just copy them all and go to your git pass i'll clear the screen so here just paste them okay so this command this first command will add the remote repository to your current project folder okay so what second command is it will push this uh, repo to origin which is our remote okay in this website github okay with branch call master here so once you enter so it will push everything in our folder to remote okay so in first uh, it might ask you for password okay username and password just type what uh, you used while signing up okay now it pushed everything to uh, our repo okay remote repo so now if you just go there and refresh 
so you will see that okay so exact same thing which is in your uh, local copy here index file uh, we got two commits okay so first commit and second commit okay so this is how you push your project to uh, remote okay so uh, if you do any changes here so uh, you add some paragraph okay so YouTube channel okay for learning web tab okay so, so you made change meanwhile so it might be any changes okay so after you make change the exact same process git add git commit okay to commit the changes so git add so you if you want to add everything every file uh, meanwhile whatever the changes are just git add dot so it will add everything to your staging area okay so staging area is something uh, in between middle so after that uh, you commit that okay so staging area is just uh, on hold okay so just that is waiting for you to commit so git commit give it message edit paragraph So after you make change, uh, you want to push there git push. Okay, you just do git push. So it will push all the changes to remote. So now you can see change reflected here. You can see the uh, HTML page. So here the paragraph added. Okay, so so now we'll learn how someone might contribute to this project and how to collaborate okay so uh, suppose you find this project okay uh, and you want to add some features to this website so currently you think oh this only got html page i want to add some css so if you think so what you have to do is just click on fork so what this will do is this will create the local copy of this in your profile okay currently it is in web devs um uh, uh, account okay so if you hit fork it will create the same repo in your profile not web matrix okay so once uh, it created that go to your uh, profile okay so go to this repo and just click on clone okay so here so you'll copy this to clipboard okay just copy it and go to it and suppose we are in another folder okay contributor so in this we'll do git bash here and we'll type git clone and we'll just paste that link here so what this will do is this will just create the exact same copy like here okay so whatever is here it will cre create the clone in the contributors profile okay so contributors computer or whatever so here she just start to contribute in this project in same way okay so now uh, i will type ls to look what are, what is there so i'll cd into web dev okay so for example i am the contributor and i will open this in new folder okay so i will clear the screen and i will type git status okay so it will say nothing to commit and this is up to date with origin master okay so now here i will add the new file called style so i will add some background color okay now i made the change to this website i will do git status git status okay this will say some untracked file so you know what to do git add everything okay so git commit i will add the message css add it okay so now i have created commit so what i will do is git push okay 
so that will push the change to your your profiles okay repo so okay once you boost it you'll see the changes in your uh, repository okay so refresh that and you'll see here okay so currently uh, there is no change in the main uh, repo from where you pulled it out okay so here you'll see four commits now if you want these changes to appear there okay so you will create the pull request okay so you don't have right to change to that repo repo okay so what you do is you will uh, request hey i have made this change uh, do you want to merge it to your repo okay so you will do new pull request and you will create pull request okay you will add uh, this comments whatever you want to add and once you are done just hit create pull request so now request is created once you go to this repo and refresh so this owner will see pull requests here so style added so you will see what the changes here and you can take a look what what are changes and once you are uh, just okay with that you will merge the pull request okay so confirm merge so what this will do is this will merge that to your main branch master so now you can see the changes here so this is how you uh, make the changes and use git in real projects okay so there is lot to learn so this is uh, just to get you up and running so this is what you use most of the time